Hey guys, this is Tyler with Desert Flower Farms. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is some ideas that I've had for a while, trying to get rid of some of my grass and produce more more things. Uh, this year, it's just I was pushed to the point where I don't have enough space to grow what I need to grow, so I'm I'm ending up needing more space, and this is what I figured out to do. So, uh, I ended up having trees, I'll show you here. So I've got trees lined up kind of near our fence, okay, and our sprinkler system was right about out in this area here, kind of in the compost area. So it didn't get the grass behind it, and it just would hit into the trees and not water the grass in front um, of the trees. So we, we just kind of moved them forward. As you can see, this one is moved kind of in line with the rest of these, these tree boxes. We're going to have them going, uh, getting the grass in front and everything. So now the grass behind here won't be get water, it won't be getting watered. And so I figured right now would be basically the perfect time to get rid of that grass and grow stuff along here. So as you can see, I've got about a four foot area that was all grass and it's from one side almost all the way down to the other side. Um, it's a little over 120 feet, I think it was. Um, so now I've got another, I can either do two rows or just do the one row. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right now, if I'm just gonna do one row or two rows. Uh, but I'm gonna plant, for sure I'm gonna plant loofahs um, cucumbers, stuff like that, that kind of vines and grows all over. I'll plant those along here. We'll get those growing. I'll be able to have those for for our produce this year. Um, this is fresh compost. Got it from a, a buddy, and this compost smells sweet. It's almost to where you want to eat it. It, it smells so good and tastes, tastes probably good to whoever tries it, but um, anyways, this right here is another thing that I've come up with. So grass and corn use basically the same nutrients. They grow pretty good and, and the corn will outgrow the grass. I won't have to do any weeding. Um, so I got my neighbor's tractor, and that's what I used to dig out this trench here uh, of grass. So he had a little digger on the back, and if you can kind of see these rows, I found where my my watering lines were, my sprinkler lines. So I didn't hit those; I marked them. Uh, I think there's, can't really see it from here, I guess. But there's a twig right right there. Um, that's one of my markings for where my sprinkler's at. And the lines just kind of go with that. Anyways, um, I wanted to do sweet corn this year f for produce and a little bit for myself. So I ended up uh, figuring out that I should just drag some rows in the grass and then fill it with compost, plant my seeds straight in there, corn seeds, and end up growing my corn like that. By about next year, all this grass will be, will cover all this area back up again. Grass grows like crazy, so I'm not really that concerned with it. If I need to, I'll, I'll put more sand on, um, more compost, just try to fill in kind of the divots or wherever so I can make this smooth after I'm done with it. But So this is what I'm doing with my, my corn this year. 
you can see I, I dug out the rows, scraped them out. I had to kind of dig some of it out because it didn't get everything out really well. But now all I'm doing is I'm getting the compost. I'm going from one end all the way to the other. And I'm just filling in my lines with the compost. And then I'll end up planting my corn through here. We'll see how it turns out. Um, and it's actually a pretty large area. I left space so that I can get the four-wheeler through here if I need to, whatever. Um, my mower, all that stuff can go through here. But I've also got enough space here, which I haven't finished filling in my compost. It starts right here and goes down to over there. So I need to finish filling in the middle. Um, so hopefully this year I'll have some awesome sweet corn. It should be really good because it's going to get a lot of water and uh, nutrients. So I'm um, hoping it, it goes all well. If not, then I'll have to figure something out for next year. Um, try to finish, finish it a little better. Everywhere else I've got either planted or planned to plant. Um, I, I've got it so packed and planned that uh, I actually had to take this spot with my where my grapevine is supposed to go right here. I was going to plant a grapevine in here this year. And uh, anyways, I took this and now I've got uh, red onions growing in here as well. So I've got stuff everywhere and I'm going to have to get my Egyptian walking onions and throw them in probably in here with the blueberries or probably more likely over by the honeyberries on that side over there on the other side of the trellis um, for my walking onions and that's about it I got got most of the stuff planted that I need to anything else uh, like this corn I'm gonna wait a little bit longer it's still gonna snow this next week so I gotta wait for some of this stuff but everything else is doing good growing well uh, anyways that's that's some of the stuff that we've got going on on the farm uh, hopefully it all works out so people can get some of our produce and see how well it tastes uh, get some some better nutrients in their body because we don't use any of the bad sprays or anything um, so hopefully we can help people stay healthy or get healthy with what we produce and have it taste really well. Until the next time.